In this video, I'm going to walk through creating your first HTML web page and uploading it to the UMGC Nova web server. To get us started, what I usually recommend in any course that requires working with web pages is to find a place on your local computer and create a folder so you have an area where you're saving everything on your computer. So I'm creating a folder called CMST, and that is the folder that I will use for this video. Next, I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna open the folder that we just created, which is in Documents, CMST, Open. And you'll notice on my left-hand side, I have access to this folder, and I can go ahead and create new files. So I'm gonna create a file, we'll call it index.html. And I'm just going to create a basic HTML5 web page that we'll use just for testing that we're able to upload to Nova correctly. And we'll just call this test Nova. And I will just give it test web page for Nova. Now that I have this saved, what I want to do is upload it to Nova. So we'll do that by using our FTP program, FileZilla. FileZilla has a thing called Site Manager on the top left hand side. I can click New Site and give it the host name nova.umuc.edu. Make sure you enter port 22, which is needed for our SFTP connection. We want to make sure login type is normal. And then we'll give it the username and the password. And this was the same username and password that you would have set up earlier when you created your Nova account. So when I connect for the first time, I should be logged in. I see the www directory, which I had created earlier on, and that's shown in a separate video. And on the left-hand side is my computer. So on my Mac, I wanna make sure I'm browsing to users and I'm browsing to my username and my documents, which is where my code is stored. If you get a message asking for permission to access your folder, go ahead and click okay. Okay again. And in my documents, I want to click on CMST, which is where my index file is. What I want to do is upload my index file to my www directory on Nova. So if I double click here, I can simply drag and drop my index.html file. So one thing I will need to do, and this is covered in your class under permissions, all files that get uploaded to Nova need to be set to 644, and all folders need to be set to 711. In an earlier video, I showed you setting your root directory on your www directory to 711. In this case, we now need to set our index file to 644. Once I've done that and I can confirm I have the correct permissions, I can then browse to my URL. For our Nova account, we simply go to nova.umuc.edu forward slash tilde in my case, I'm going to CT388A. And I see my test web page for Nova slash CMST. So let's do the same on the Windows side. I'm going to click on my Windows Explorer, Documents. I'm going to create a new folder. Call it CMST. And close this, and I'll go to Visual Studio Code. Next, I'm going to open the folder that we just created, CMST, select. So I'm going to create an index file like I did before. This time we'll call it test nova windows. We'll save that file. I'll come out and we'll go into FileZilla. and we will create a new site in FileZilla called nova.umuc.edu, SFTP, port 22, username and password, connect. I'm gonna save the password. And on the Windows side, I simply go to Documents on the left-hand side, and I go to CMST, where I have my index file stored. And on the right hand side, of course, we want to upload into our www folder. You'll notice our existing index file is already there. We're going to overwrite that by simply dragging and dropping. I'm going to overwrite. 
And because we had already previously set the permissions for index.html and this is updating on the Nova server, we don't actually need to change anything, but we can verify that by right clicking and selecting file permissions. And you'll note that we're still on 644, which is good. So let's go ahead and see if that worked. We'll go to nova.umuc.edu forward slash tilde ct388a. And you'll note we've got Windows Nova set up. Just a quick note, some students often get this confused. The root of your URL is equivalent to that of your www directory. In other words, you do not need to type www here. If you do, you will most likely get a not found or other related error. Another thing to keep in mind, if you access your page and it says that you have a permissions error, please be sure to check that your folders are set correctly and your files are set correctly in your Nova server. Quite often this is the case if I was to, for example, create another file in here. I'm going to upload a brand new file, test.html. Note the permissions are not set correctly here. If I go to test.html, HTML, I'm going to see a forbidden. Anytime you see a forbidden when you're accessing a file in Nova, it is most likely a permissions problem. Either your directory is not set correctly to 711 or your file is not set to 644. Those are the only two permissions you should be using in our DMWT classes. We don't really need to worry about any other permissions for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions related to your Nova setup or for publishing files within the web server, please check with your professor or submit a ticket at the UMGC Help Service Desk.